Dear students, very good morning. Today we are going to discuss about memory management system in embedded system design. Okay, so let's discuss one by one what is memory management and how memory management uh, plays a vital role in embedded system design. So first, what is memory management? Memory management in embedded system is a crucial aspect of software development, especially considering the limited resources typically available in such system. Embedded system often have a constraint in terms of memory size, processing power, and energy consumption. Efficient memory management is essential to ensure optimal utilization of resources and to meet performance requirements. Embedded memory system, uh, it has a three types, ROM and RAM. ROM is read-only memory, random access memory is the RAM. We have a two types of RAM, one is the static RAM and another one is the dynamic RAM. DRAM is the dynamic RAM, SRAM is the static RAM. Both are volatile. Non-volatile RAM comes under ROM technology. ROM is a flash ROM, EEP ROM, electrically erasable, programmable read-only memory, electrically programmable read-only memory. What is memory allocation? Till now we discussed about memory management and then now we go for memory allocation in memory management for embedded system involves the process of efficiently assigning memory resources to different components of embedded software. Thus, static allocation in many embedded system, memory allocation is primarily static, meaning that memory, is, uh, memory usage is determined at compile time. Static means memory usage only determined and the compilation of the program. Stack-based allocation, static data allocation. We have a two types of memory management. Stack memory is commonly used for local variable and uh, function call frames in embedded system. As functions are called uh, and uh, read and return the stack pointer is adjust accordingly to the allocated and deallocate memory for local variables and functions parameter. Global variable and statically allocated data structure are placed in memory regions determined at compile time. It's static data allocation. Heap based allocation. Although less common in embedded system due to its dynamic nature, heap based memory allocation is sometimes used for allocating memory at run time. Embedded systems may, may employ custom memory allocation schemes such as memory pools of fixed size allocator to mitigate fragmentation and uh, overhead associated with the traditional heap management. Heap based allocation requires careful management to prevent memory fragmentation and ensure efficiency, efficient memory usage. So guys, uh, here we can see the memory management, memory profiling techniques. Memory usage graphs, memory heat maps, and uh, memory allocation tree, memory leak reduction, heap and stack usage, function call memories, memory access patterns. These are the profiling techniques of memory. So here we can see the diagram. Here four threads are used in the Arthas OS, real-time operating system, memory management unit. Okay, so memory usage modeling is the way to organize and uh, define how memory behaves. It provides structure and uh, rules for how to access and uh, use addresses in a system. Memory modules are important for concurrent programs because they define the possible values that the read operation can return based on the write operation performed by the program. Uh, they also provide the basic uh, semantics of shared variable which are crucial for reasoning about programs and the programming language. Memory optimization strategy 
cost, code size reduction, data compression, memory pooling, memory alignment, selective compilation. These are the strategies used for memory optimization. So we can see the real-time case study. In an automotive embedded system, memory management is a critical for real-time performance and reliability. For instance, in an engine control unit, ECU, memory allocation ensure efficient storage of data, sensor data, uh, control algorithm and diagnostic routines. Static allocation reserves memory for critical functions like ignition timing, while dynamic allocation handles the variable size data streams from the sensor. Memory pooling's optimization, optimized resource usage, reducing fragmentation and ensure timely responses to engine event. By carefully managing memory, the ECU maintain a real-time responsiveness, enhancing fuel efficiency and uh, ensure safety operation, illustrating the pivotal role of memory management in embedded system for automotive application. Now it's the time, what are the advantages of memory management, resource optimization, uh, reliability and stability, real-time responsiveness, space efficiency, security enhancement, ease of maintenance, optimized performance. These are the advantage of memory management. Disadvantages, complexity, overhead, overhead in real-time system, fragmentation, memory leaks, resource constraint, security risk, performance degradation. Okay, students, now it's the time for assessment. So I hope you understand what is memory management and what are the memory management strategies are available and what is the advantage and the disadvantages of memory. So our disadvantage of memory means it is a fragmentation, memory leaks and resource constraint is the major disadvantage of memory management. The next question is what are the advantage of uh, advantages of uh, memory management is the space efficiency, security enhancement, ease of maintenance, optimized performance are the major advantages of memory management. So guys you understand I hope you understand the basic uh, uh, basic concept of memory management in embedded system and what is the important role of memory management in the embedded system. So thank you students. Have a great day.